What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Liz, who's bringing a really, really cool team. I love her team so much. The Grimmsnarl, Salazzle, the Haxorus, one of my favorite dragon types. We have the Gyarados, the Espeon, and the Lycanroc, so very cool team all around. This is Wi-Fi battle number two with our brand new team, so if you guys have not checked out the last Wi-Fi battle, or go back in the playlist and watch and watch that Wi-Fi battle. So, yeah, um, I went through the team recap on my last Wi-Fi battle, but as you can see, we're using a, a Sylveon team with uh, Specs, Raichu, Scarf, and yada, yada, yada. And I forgot to give the Pecs my capsule. So we're going to have to try to win without the capsule, unfortunately, without the regenerator. So what are you going to do, you may ask? I'm going to start with Bombi. No, no, he's expecting that with the Espeon. What do I got for the Espeon? Nothing. I'm gonna go Sil I'm gonna go Sylveon. Sylveon versus Espeon here. And we're gonna try to knock it out with a I think I'm running Shadow Ball on Espeon. I mean Sylveon. So many Eons here, it's kind of confusing. So yes, um, make sure you guys leave a like. I love your Lee card and your hairstyle. Your style is awesome, Liz. But also, what was I saying? Make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles because I do Wi-Fi battles every week. I do them at least three times a week now, so. We go out into the Sylveon and we're up against the blue, the Lycanroc, the shiny Lycanroc, which is absolutely beautiful if you ask me. Now, what do I want to hit this thing with? I really want a Hyper Voice. I really, really do. But what I'm going to do here, no, because it's probably running Drill Run. I'm honestly just going to Hyper Voice here. And see how goes down, unfortunately we go down, so. All right, so Stealth Rock, I should have seen that coming actually. So Stealth Rock is the thing, we're gonna Hyper Voice here. And we knock out the blue. I forget how frail Ro Lycanroc is. I really do. I really do. Okay, so the Suicide Leaf goes down. And what are you gonna go out into next? What do you have that threatens Sylveon? Uh, eventually I want to go out into Rubambi, but I really want to knock out the Espeon before I do that. Okay, hardly, com hardly comes out. The Salazzle, which is very threatening. I got something right here. Okay, I'm good now. It's like a burp or something. Okay, so I'm gonna go out into the Toxapex here. Gonna get rid of this Salazzle. Now, I know Salazzle has the Corrosion, so it can technically Toxic and poison my Toxapex. But we're gonna go out into the Toxapex anyways. And then, uh, you're probably gonna Sludge Bomb. Okay, so I'll take that. We take those for days. Unfortunately, I'm not running Regenerator, so... That's on me, though. Um, I'm going to go out into... I'm going to fire off a Scald here. Because most of his team, or her team, I'm sorry, are physical attackers. So we should be able to do some damage with that. So you go for the Toxic. That's fine. That's a very fair play. And this is why I run Toxic on my Salazzle also. Take advantage of that, um, of that ability. And it essentially kind of makes uh, to Toxapex life harder, so... Okay, so we're gonna fire off another Scald here. I really don't mind it. Maybe you'll save the Salazzle, but I really don't think so. We're gonna Scald again. We're gonna try to burn something or try to do some damage on something. So this is why I'm going for the Scald again. Sir what? Sir Pent Pentius comes out with the Intimidate. So at least it's not a Moxie Gyarados. That would be bad. Can we at least get a burn so we make sure this thing will not do any damage to us? Come on. No burn. Okay, that's understandable. That's fair. Now, unfortunately, Dragon Knight, my Dragon Knight does not have Thunder Punch. I used to run Thunder Punch for these Gyarados back in Generation um, 6. So, what do I want to do? I really want to Scald again, but I don't think it's worth, to be honest. I really don't think it's worth. I have a feeling that the Ground-type attack is going to come out, the Earthquake. Is Toxapex really useful to me? It really is. I hate to let it go down like that. I really hate to let it go down like that. Is Beware useful? Yes and no. Yes and no. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna come out into Beware here. And we're gonna double edge. A choice band of double edge will do some heavy damage on this Gyarados. Or, or any Pokemon that comes out. He doesn't have any Pokemon that resists normal type, so. We'll be okay. We'll be perfectly fine, so. He's gonna dr Dragon Dance. Okay. I should have seen this coming in all reality. 
I really should have, and I'm probably gonna go down to a waterfall or whatever this thing wants to shoot off at me, so. We're gonna double edge and hope for the best. That's all I can do. I got priority on my, on my Dragonite, so I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm just hoping I live in attack. That's it. Because if I live in attack, I'll shoot off a double edge, and this Gyarados is gonna go cry back to its mommy Gyarados. Or Daddy Gyarados, right? whatever. Man, she's so cool. Liz, I hope you watch this in the future. You're awesome. I love your, I love your style. I really do. Okay. So waterfall comes out. Don't flinch. Whatever you do, it's a crit. Don't flinch. I had a feeling. I had a very good feeling I was gonna flinch. So. Waterfall again. That flinch mattered a lot, too. That was kind of crucial for my opponent. Now, what I can do, I can go out into Dragon Knight. I don't think, I, and I can Dragon Dance myself. I really don't think it's going to run the, um, the Ice Fang. And even at that, I should be able to take one with the, I should be able to take Ah oh, man, I forgot this the stone the self rock sort of thing. Yeah, so we got we have to dragon uh, extreme speed now. We have to extreme speed. I forgot about this the self rock. I really did. So we're gonna just do this and hope for the best. We're gonna waterfall again. So actually, that's good for us. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, and one more extreme speed should do the trick here. I'm not gonna dragon claw because this thing will knock us out. We have to extreme speed and try to take advantage of the KO here. There you go. There you go. Now, I cannot switch Dragonite out, unfortunately, because of the Stealth Rock. Now, what I can do, though, is switch it out, use it as Death Water later in the battle, and kind of use it as a free switch, quote-unquote. Now, how much... Well, actually, how much HP do you have? I'll have to, I'll have to check. Um, so, Espeon comes out. Very cool. Yeah, we're not going to be able to live another Stealth Rock attack, so we're just going to extreme speed here and try to knock out... Well, obviously, we won't knock out the Espeon, but we'll do significant damage, just like we did there. Dazzling Gleam comes out. And there you go. Or, there you have it. <laughs> I was going to say, there you go, and have it at the same time, and, and Ho came out. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and go out into the Rabambi here. We're going to Moon Blast this thing. And I really, 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 really want to go for the sticky web after we knock this thing out. So we're actually going to pollen puff here. And make sure we knock this thing out. Boom. So the Espeon goes down. And I really want to set up my Stealth Rock now, or not Stealth Rock, my sticky web, especially because, you know, she has that Haxorus in the back, which can Dragon Dance. Okay, so who is this? Please don't be Haxorus. Grim Snarl comes out, which I'm honestly okay with. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take advantage of the sticky web and set that up. I think that's important for us, so I'm gonna go out into the sticky web. Now you're gonna go into the retaliate. That's gonna do some damage. This is just a cool animation look. Wow, I really love the arms. That was awesome. I ain't even mad. So we're gonna go out into the Sylveon here. Sylveon should be able to take this, um, Gosh darn Grimmsnarl out with the Hyper Voice, and to be quite honest, I should be able to take the rest of his team with the, with the Hyper Voice, so... That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna Hyper Voice. We're Specs Hyper Voice. We're gonna do some damage on just about everything that comes out, so... Hyper Voice, and it goes down. Sylveon, I love you so much, and I know I said that last Wi-Fi battle, but... Just look how beautiful Sylveon is. It's, it's so majestic. That's why it's a fairy type, not because it was a new type and, you know, they wanted, they wanted Espeon to be fairy, whatever the case may be, but, you know, it's just a beautiful Pokemon, it, it speaks majestically, so, we're gonna run into Toxapex here, and that's what we're gonna do to win. So this team is actually very good. I really like this team. A lot. So, what you gonna do to me? Sludge Bomb, that's fine, we'll, we'll take that. And what we're going to do, we're going to Scald, because if you switch into the Haxorus, then you're risking a burn, so I really don't think you're going to switch. You can't afford to switch, actually. If you switch and I get a burn, that's that's game. You at least have a chance if you stay in with Salazzle 
and uh, try to knock us out or do whatever you want to do. Now, we do have to be afraid of the Dragon Dance, and we have to respect the Dragon Dance, but once the Haxorus comes out, I'm going to fire off some Scalds and hope I burn. That's what we got to do. What you going to do, Liz? I love her... T I just love her team. And that style. Look at that style. Liz's style is just amazing. I, I've, this is the first avatar I've seen that's been truly unique. I've never seen an avatar like that for my opposing... Um, the opposing team. Do you like my Mickey Mouse? And yes, I said Mickey Mouse. Mickey the Mouse Cup. Mickey the Mouse. Okay, so you are switching. You're risking a burn here. This always happens to me when I wear white. I always end up getting my shirt dirty. What's wrong with me? Okay. So, Halberd comes out. Burn it. Yes! Okay, that's game right there. That's game. What I'm gonna do... I really don't want this thing to set up a bunch of Dragon Dance on me because I will lose the battle. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come out into the Espeon. I'll be able to take whatever attack this thing wants to throw at me, except for an Iron Head. So now thinking of it, I'm gonna right you, and I'm just gonna side shock. That's what I'm gonna do because I really don't want to. I don't want to switch into Iron Head. I do not want to switch into an Iron Head. That would be really bad. Okay, so right you comes out. My Love Ball right you, and you're gonna fire off an Earthquake. I'm okay with that. I really am. That did a lot of damage, though. I'm guaranteed one hit KO. I would rather sock off the, sack off the Raichu, though. Because at least I can come into the uh, Sylveon. And I'm pretty sure I will outspeed. I'm almost confident I will outspeed. And if I don't, I am going to cry. I'll let you know right now. I will cry if I don't outspeed. All right, Sylveon. Let's go ahead and hit this Hyper Voice. And let's call it a day. Let's call it a Wi-Fi battle. What you gonna do, Hacks? What you gonna do, Liz? You're Dynamaxing. Of course you are. Of course you are. I should have known. Okay, that's fine, because I'll be able to live an attack and I'll be able to, you know, knock this thing with a pixelated hyper voice. I'm gonna scream at this Hexorus. I'm almost certain I'll be able to live any attack, even with the burn. Or with, well, because of the burn, ob obviously. So, Max Quake is a thing. It's gonna increase the special. Okay, we'll be able to we'll, we'll live it. Okay. Now we have to Dynamax ourselves if we want to win this. Special defense goes up, which actually matters. And help. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. That does not matter. Who said it matters? I didn't. That's for sure. Alright. So, Lazlo's gonna come out next. She needed a Dynamax to win this, and I, I can't respect that. I'm trying to get used to the idea of Dynamaxing whenever I'm not doing the battles on the Discord. By the way, if you guys want to battle me, my the Discord link is at, at the description below. So click on it. You'll be invited to our Battle Hub or Pokemon Hub. I don't remember. I think it's Battle Hub. And um, my name on there is Alvin. Feel free to add me as a friend. Feel free to hit me up, and we'll have a battle. We'll have a good old-fashioned battle. Okay, Toxapex comes out, and I am scared. <laughs> I really am scared. So, I'm gonna make this Toxapex giant. I mean, you Dynamax to try to win, why can't I, right? And that's game. I hate doing this, I really do. But, I've learned that battles outside of our Discord, because on our Discord, every time we have a battle with anybody on there, we don't Dynamax. And I have to learn, that whenever we battle online that is not from the Discord server, you got a Dynamax if you want to win. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and fire off a Scald here. And that's going to be the victory. As salty as I am about this victory, I've learned that you got to do what you got to do to win these battles. That are, again, that are not from the Discord server. So, I hate to do this. I really do. And I know I've said that a bunch of times, but I just feel bad. I really do. But if you Dynamax, I get a Dynamax. It's only fair, right? Liz, I'm taking your lead card because it's just absolutely beautiful. I loved it. Make sure that you leave a like. And if you want to battle me, click on the link below on the Discord. Add me. And hit me up. That's all you got to do. I'm a friendly person. But that's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure you guys leave a like. 
subscribe to my channel. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys next time.